Hi gang and welcome to a competitive gameplay video. In this battle I'm playing my Boros Venota that wins the game with the Kikijiki and Conspicuous Snoop trick. Or alternatively Kikijiki and Silius Conscript. Or just beats in general, after all, this is a hate bear deck. With us we also have Jack playing his Rograf Tumna Martyr Adonasium deck. We have Pontus on his typical Ken Illusion that can win with Faza's Oracle Consultation, or alternatively Dockside Emil, or some other various things. And then finally we have with us Faded piloting his Yeskai, Chrom and Leave You Old Sworn Sentinel. And the idea is with Dockside and Intruder Alarm, you have infinite mana, and with infinite mana you can do something cool. It is a completely new deck, so that's gonna be very interesting. Alright, let's fire off the game. So, Windswept Heath and Crack It or Tundra, that's the blue white one, right? And then I'll play a Mystic Remora and pass the turn. Draw a card. I'm gonna play a Cavern of Souls. Let's say Human and Cavern of Souls. And then play a Lotus. You Lotus. And then I'm gonna. You can draw. And I'm passing the turn. I will play Badlands. You know, I'm gonna be that guy. It's the first time I actually seen a Jewel Lotus in the play, and I don't like it. So let's mana blast it. I honestly don't <laughs> think you should mana blast. <laughs> I'm sure, you you destroy it. <laughs> I pass turn. Uh, commander, maybe? Sure, I'll cast, and I'll pass. Okay. All according to plan. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. So draw turn. Turn off catacombs. Pass. It'll untap. Keep the paper fish. Draw. Yep. Volcanic Island. Uh, Mox Diamond. Discarding Steam Vents and Azorius Sigma. And that is my turn. I'm gonna take my turn. Let's play this lanes. So let's cast this spirit. I can sacrifice it. I can exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Pass the turn. Call of Heliod's generosity. Skull clamp. Uh, I will draw. You will draw. I will equip skull clamp to Rograt. Put him back in the command zone and draw two cards. Then I'll pass turn. Uh, and step. I'll fetch. Fetching what you really tapped. Let's go. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw. Play a Taiga. So tap two. I'd like to cast Dockside. That's four already. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. It be game four. Crack two. Cast a Phantasmal Image. It's gonna be a secondary Dockside. What? I would never. Survival. You may draw. I'm done with that. And draw. Go Command Tower. Play a Smothering Tide. Pass turn. I'm gonna draw a card. And you can have a you can have a treasure. So oh. Bloodstain Mire. I'm gonna sacrifice the Bloodstain Mire. Play Toe. Cost Chromox. Chromox is good. I'm gonna imprint Desperate Ritual and four mana uncountable Venota turn free. Let the casino begin. Jack, I'm coming with you for uh, two damage. Attack trigger Venota. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. It's fine. Yeah, it was one more. One. One more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed. Did they go to the bottom of my deck, right? Uh, yeah, that's the Venota life, man. Yeah, that's the Venota life. I've seen that happen to you. In that case, I'm. Uh, you're taking two damage and I'm uh, passing the turn. Right. I will draw this card. I'm going to gamble. Okay, I've got eight cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, did I see that? Ah, uh, Goblin Bombardment. I will pass turn. Okay. Draw. Are you gonna pay? No. Savannah, so land turn. Casting LED. I'll tap a green to discard Ghostly Pilfer to survival. I'll hold priority and crack LED. That's pretty clever. For three mana. Big brains, Pontus. Discarding Big. Brain Freeze and Impseal. Wait, you win the game yeah, with this. What you get? He's gonna get Dead Eye Navigate. Get that I navigate or your meal. Yeah, I could, but then I either win or lose on this play. Yeah, but you so gotta like, take. Is the risk worth there? Is the question. Yeah, it is. Like says you. It all comes down to if, if faded have interaction in his hand. Yeah, I am well aware, and uh, I think I kind of need to take it. I would take. It. So I'll find that I. So I'll cast it. Okay. <laughs> all right, faded. This is gonna be. I believe uh, in you. We're gonna blue and one. We're gonna play snap and dock side to your hand. So you're snapping my dock side. Vendillion click you. <laughs> uh, what does that say? Look at target player's hand, choose a non-land card, reveal that non-land card. If you do, that player puts that card on the bottom of her library and then draws a card. Correct. And that's what we're going to do with the Doxa. 
After that there, bottom bottom, try card. Would you like to pay the two? You can have it. E to B, I'll soul bond it to Finasso Manage, and pass. End of the turn, I'm gonna brainstorm. Pontus only needs one creature to his hand to win the game here. Untap, draw, play a Misty Rainforest, crack it, play a Mox Opal, play a Merchant Scroll. So I would definitely get like a pack just in case uh, he draws a creature. I'm gonna cast Crom. Swing at somebody, probably Jack. Ouch. And after that, I'm done. My turn, come on, Dick. Come on, give me that win now. Draw a card. Win? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the win. Let's put his mountain into play. All right, combat first. So, yeah, Jack, I'm coming at you for six damage. Venota trigger. Come on now. Ouch. One, two, three. Don't wait. Don't wait. Four. Don't wait. Four. Don't wait. Five. Dick, why are you doing this to me? I was with. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm gonna cast a mana vault. I wanna tap the mana vault for free colorless. Use one, cast Goblin Crater Maker. And using the two last remaining colorless and casting Mog Catcher. That's way more scary. That's way more scary. You might be interested in, in encounter spelling this. Because that's a win on your upkeep. Yes. However, however, there is a cavern of souls here that have been named human. Mog Catcher is a human. Ching! Passing the turn to uh, you, Jack. I will draw. I'm going to cast a dark side. Uh, I will not crack my treasures in response. Me need You get a lot of mana. Really There's feed no a donkey. That's seven for me. It's a four. I see 13. 13. I'm going to slaughter pack that mog. Do that mog that. destroys artifact or enchantment, right? Wait, you want to destroy this thing? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to try to win with Rixian Altar here? In that case, I'm going to pay one mana here, sacrifice it to destroy... Wait a minute. Is it better to destroy Phasmal Image? I can just flicker it in response. Oh my god, wait a minute. Uh, Yeah, you can. Big oops to all of us. I think Pontus just wins now, by the way. He can generate infinite mana now, if he wants to. By flicking Phantasmal Image to make a copy of Dockside and then make infinite treasures with Dead Eye Navigate and, and Dockside. Okay, I think you should target uh, Image then. Doesn't matter, because he has mana to actually flicker it now. So it yeah, that's fine, do it. I can stop him from going infinite if you do it. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm uh, I'm dealing two damage. I'm sacrificing Goblin Crater making, dealing two damage to Phantasmal Image. In trigger Phantasmal Image, uh, sacrifice itself. Trigger. Yeah, I'll flicker it in response to that trigger. And then for one mana, I will pyroblast the dead eye. Sure. Wait, 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 wait. Is it better to pyroblast Phantasmal Image here? Pontus is gonna get, still get the flicker of that's on the stack, generate a bunch of treasures from Dockside. He will take his turn. He will cast a uh, Kenrith, where he puts a plus one percent counter on the uh, Phantasmal Image, goes to Grave, and then reanimates it. That is true. Then it's gotta be the image. This is why I shouldn't told you I could use flicker it in response. Because that made you think. I'm thinking it's bad. <laughs> 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 Pontus, I'm good at this game. You didn't see this for that long time. I came like Dockside, I was just elated. I was so happy. Dang, Kenrith is annoying. We still might just lose to Jack. I'm going to pay three mana to cast a Cloudstone Curio. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Yeah, same. Packed on the uh, Curio. Two mana to Imp's Mischief. You're packed to cast Rograth, bouncing Dockside to my hand, to cast Dockside, bouncing Rograth back to my hand, to generate um, one million treasures. A very large amount. Yes, very large amount. Skull Clamp, I'm going to Skull Clamp my Rograth to draw my deck. Did you have a Torment of Hellfire in your deck? Yes, I do have Torment of Hellfire. It's right here. Yeah, you, you've drawn your entire deck, just cast that instead. Play of the game. I'm going to slaughter pact that Mog to Imp's Mischief. You're packed. I don't know if you noticed it, but Jack didn't win from a really large board state. He basically held back, put a land in play, draw two cards only with his Rograph and Skull Clamp, and then he caused Dockside Extortionist gain 13 treasures. And with that and his big hand size that he hadn't really used because he basically just put lands in play and a Skull Clamp, he, could, he had all the interaction he needed to go through the with the Slaughter Pact and Imp's Mischief. And then he has basically assembled a win con from the things he already had in his hand. I am a little bit sad when Nota's two triggers actually fizzled, but that's just how it is when you play a casino deck. Pontus was also really close in winning this game. He honestly almost had it. Also a little bit sad we didn't get to see more of this deck, but what I've seen so far, it looks pretty functional. So in the end, big congrats, Jack. I'm happy you had it in the end. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.